There's a huge market for web design right now. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to find clients and then how to deliver services to them. And to find these businesses, you just wanna go ahead and type in HVAC contractor. And these are all the Google My Business pages for this certain area. So this is a great place to start because here you can actually see whether these companies have websites attached. For example, when we click Bailey's Comfort Services, they have a website right here. Now, if we scroll down a bit, you're gonna see that a few of them don't have websites. Zimmerman's HVAC doesn't have a website. We scroll down a bit more. George, New York Heating and AC doesn't have a website, no icon. But the crazy thing is they have reviews. So as you can see here, they have 32 reviews, 4.7 stars. So this is a company that's actually doing business, but they just don't have a website and they don't have any way for potential customers to get in touch with them. Now, I found a few websites that just look awful and we're gonna dive into them and I'm gonna show you why these websites perform horribly and how we can come in and improve them, build a new website, add some marketing functions to it, and then sell them a service. So right here, right off the bat, you can see the top left, they do have contact us pages, offers, gallery, service, home, but it's on a white background on this image in the banner. So you can't even see them or click them. So there is a book now button in the top right, but the same thing, I can't even see the button right now. Now this one picture here kind of takes up the whole hero section of this website. And you really don't wanna do that. You wanna have some type of call to action and a mission statement. Now, in order to check if this website is gonna be mobile optimized, go ahead and press F12 on your keyboard. It's gonna bring up the source code on the right. And here we can go up to the top left and it says dimensions. Just go ahead and pick iPhone 14 Max Pro. And then we can see what the website looks like on this device. Now, this website just consists of this R work. That was the actual landing page they brought us to. Now in R services, they just have a bunch of text here. None of these I can click, which you would want somebody to be able to click them. Let's go to the gallery, just the R work page. If you go to offers, they just have some text here. There's no way to actually get this here. So how am I supposed to get this quote? How am I supposed to get a free quote? How am I supposed to get this gift card? How does this happen? So there needs to be a call to action here so that a potential customer can go on here and actually follow through and give their information to get the discount. Now there is a stay in the loop email grab right here, which is sign up, but it doesn't really tell me what I'm signing up for. It just says stay in the loop. Well, is this for me to get my free gift card or how does that work? So as you can see, this website needs to be a lot more clear on what specifically it's asking of its customers to do and how to get them there. Another thing, their logo is just so small. Like, let's just zoom in. I, You know, you have to zoom in 500% to see Arctic Air of Augusta. So that needs to be changed as well. This website overall is probably one of the worst I think I've ever seen. Um, no call to actions. Somebody lands here, they're just looking at pictures and the pictures don't even look that good to be honest. Look at all of this. I mean, it's just like rusty. Like, how do I know what's going on here, right? So as I click the book now button in the top right, which is their only call to action on the website, it says we're not set up to accept appointments just yet. All right, so this is a perfect candidate that you can go ahead and call and sell them a website and some marketing services as well, such as a calendar and appointment booking scheduler. Overall, I give this specific website an F. All right, let's go to this other one I found, Steel HVAC LLC. Their logo looks pretty good. Uh, everything's kind of clean, very nice, slim, clean cut. But as we can see, it's not very big. It only has one section here and they do have a contacts page, call or text email, and you have name, email, phone, and message. Okay, they also have their telephone number here and a Gmail account with their address. One thing I'll say this website did well is they're not asking for too much on the contact us page. A lot of time I see websites ask for maybe 14, 15 form fills. I've even found some up to 18, just asking all random questions. This is good, it only has name, email, phone, and those are the only three that you actually need. At that point, once you get that information, you can go ahead and reach out to them and find out what kind of service that they need. Now, instead of a contact page, I would have a book appointment or get a free quote because contact doesn't really call you to action. It's just like, hey, do you wanna to talk to us? It's like, no, I actually want a free quote or I want you guys to come to my house and fix my AC. So I would change that right off the bat. This needs to be at least three sections long. And if we go to the mobile, let's see how it looks. Okay, so here's our issue right here. 
not mobile optimized. We're in the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let's see if the call us button works. It doesn't look like it does work. If you click this on mobile, it's not gonna actually call the number. And how you can tell is if a number pops up in the bottom right hand of the screen. So it looks like it works on PC, but not on mobile. So this one does things a little bit better. You can actually see the logo. It has a contact page. It's pretty clear on what they do, possibly some Google reviews. So the three sections I would have, I would have the services that they do and have a few pictures there. And then in between that, I'd have a call to action. And then my next section would be Google reviews, showing what services we've done for other people and showing happy customers. That way, when somebody lands on here, they're seeing the social proof and they're saying, okay, other people have had good dealings with this business, so I'm gonna have that as well. And the first thing he could do is just put the calendar or a booking page, the contact form fill on this first page. You're gonna have people fall off if they have to click another page. Like we had to find where this contact was. So overall, I'd give this like a D, but maybe a C, it, it could go a little higher with a few tweaks. All right, the next website that I found is North Augusta HVAC Services. It's J&J &J Climate Engineering. So right off the bat, just, just a lot going on. This background kind of just detracts. I don't think it adds a lot to what I'm looking at when I land here. This image is fine. I would just maybe make it smaller and then make this a separate section. I would also increase the size of their logo, maybe move it to the top left. Now, right off the bat, they have a get a free estimate, which is great. Having a call to action right on the top part of a page, we call it above the fold, is the best place to put it because if somebody lands here, they know exactly where to click to go ahead and get that free estimate and get in contact. Here's the form film, did a good job. They only ask about three things, that's good. Let's go back to the homepage. Now you saw when I went to the homepage again, it took a second before it loaded in the background. Now, if we wanted to check the page load speed, we can just type it in right here and go analyze. This is page speed insights. And this is gonna tell us how quickly the website loads, how responsive it is, because what you're gonna notice is if you're running traffic to a website, the mobile version needs to be lightning fast. It needs to be at least two seconds to get on page. And the website can be a little bit slower, but normally you want it faster. All right, now we can see here performance, accessibility, best practices, and SEO. Right here, here's our first content paint. So this took three seconds, and then the largest one took 16 seconds. Nobody's gonna sit here and actually let their phone load for 16 seconds when they're trying to call a plumber or an HVAC. Okay, and I was right. So right here, this is the largest contentful element painted within the viewport. So this is exactly what I was talking about. It took almost 10 seconds for this one image to load. So definitely need to fix this. This is not very fast. Okay, as we scroll down here, they have an about us, a lot of wasted space here. This needs to be more compact. This is a pretty big wall of text. I would break this up into two sections, maybe have two columns here and then have another image down here and then put the image above or below the text. This is almost a full page of a novel here. So obviously you wanna break that up, have some text hierarchy where you have bolded headlines and then you have some text and then you have maybe a call to action. It's a good picture though. Here's their services. This is good to have, this is great. This section is beautiful. Here's a call to action, get a free estimate. Now, this doesn't feel that native. I would have had the call to action here instead of view all services. And I would have this button as a conversion color. So you need to have buttons that are actually clickable, that look enticing to click. Okay, the next section, they have some testimonials. This is great. Um, I would actually have them pull the actual Google reviews. It looks a little more legit than just having texts here and then somebody's name. This is taking up way too much space. And to contact us on the bottom. Overall, not terrible, could use some work though. I would give this probably maybe like a C plus. So if you now wanted to build a website for them and start with a template, which already beats all of these websites we looked at today. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that inside of Go High Level. It's the software that I use. You just go to sites on the left and then add new funnel. And then from here, you just go ahead and type in your niche. So we're gonna type in HVAC and we get a ton of templates that pop right up. So this one actually is really good. We're gonna click here and just hit continue. It's gonna add that into our template library. And then from there, we're gonna actually be able to work on the website. So this page builder is one of the best I've used. I've used about 10 or 12 different page builders over the years, and this is the easiest one. Uh, you can jump in here with no experience and build out a website in about 20 to 40 minutes. 
So once you select this, this is gonna bring up the template. Now everything in here has sections and you can go ahead and click all of these elements and change them up. Now, like I mentioned before, these buttons, you're gonna wanna make sure that they're a conversion color. So we like green as our conversion color. So we'll just make sure that these are green, perfect. Now you can go in here and change their phone number around. Pretty easy to go ahead and do that. Now you can also add animations to these buttons. Don't want anything too crazy, but as you can see, you can have whatever kind of animation you want. I like this light speed to the left, that's good. Now also, let's say we want this centered. You can just scroll down on the right and just hit button align and then move it to the middle. So let's just go ahead and view this now. All right, make your space comfortable with HVAC. All right, and you can obviously go through and change all of this ad copy. It's really easy to do that with ChatGPT. You can have it make HVAC ad copy for you. That's why these words don't make any sense. They're just placeholder text. But as we scroll down, we can see this is already a hundred times better than the websites I just showed you. And other people are actually using those websites in their business when you could offer them a website that does all this functionality for them and looks aesthetically pleasing. And it's gonna really help convert people for their business. Now, if you wanna learn in depth how I go about building these websites, go ahead and click my link down in the description below and you can join my free school community. Now, if you wanna learn how to keep building out these websites, go ahead and click this video over here and I'll walk you through there. I'll see you in there.